All right, guys, we're back with Let's Play Crimson Shroud. As you can see, Freya, right, right here. Jacques, right here, and Lippy are in a nice battle pose. They're ready. Apparently, it's this evil thing that's been haunting Jacques for a couple chapters or a couple episodes in my series is beyond this door. Apparently, I don't see nothing walking around on the bottom screen, but we're gonna go there anyway and check it out. Chamber of the Sun. The treasury, but not a hoard of glittering gold, bright enough to blind the eyes. Just a handful of different shaped chests upon the floor. It's unclear whether this place was looted, or if it was simply this austere to begin with. Such musing, musings, however, are driven from your mind but the sight of the woman being before you. She stands atop a raised dais in the center of the room, the woman who looks just like Freya. She stares down at you, her expression cold and unmoving, even as you and Lippy hasten to ready for battle and close the, close the distance between you. Look! Crimson Cloth! You look around, weapons still held at the ready, and see that Freya is right. A crimson cloth lies draped over the chest, directly ahead of you, and there is another hanging loosely on the wall. Is that the crimson shroud? Lippy asks in awe. Which one? You retort, at a complete loss. A flash of light from the dais interrupts you. The woman who looks like Freya has disappeared. A magic gate? Lippy curses, running bow in hand up onto the dais. There, a magic circle is just in the process of fading, leaving a whirl of particles of light to swirl like dust in the air. Lippy shakes his head. What was that all about? <sighs> These are shrouds, but I sense nothing of the dark about them. They're not gifts, Freya declares. She stands before the shroud on the wall, her face hard. You think of for a moment that she is in shock from seeing to herself but soon realizes she has other cause for surprise. These shrouds, isn't that a kish weave? Your eyes fall on the familiar pattern of gold and silver threads running through the fabric of the shrouds. Freya nods a silent response. This isn't the kish ancestral home or something, is it? Lippy asks out loud. If this were the home the kish had lost a thousand years before, it's not much proof to go on, but still. Lippy says, reaching out to touch the shroud on the dais. The moment he touches it, the gate activates. As Lippy begins to fade, you grab Freya and plunge, dragging her through the gate after him. Uh-oh. Where are we now? Oh, look, it says the Hall of Prayer. We made it back here? You blink, finding yourself staying, standing in a room in the ruins. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Um, where are we? Lippy asks the question up, uh, the question on all your minds. Looks like the magic gate took us to the chapel. Freya says. It's clear that Lippy touching the shroud on the dais activated the magic gate, spiriting you here. A magic circle has been etched in the middle of this room, functioning as a one-way gate, leading out and exit. You cannot see anything like a shroud or switch to activate it. Somehow you have to find a way back. Okay, so we get to move the heart. We're gonna try and go back. Uh oh, something's happening in the Athenaeum. You return to stand before the treasury. It's clear that the shroud atop the dais triggers the magic gate. There might be other tricks be besides. You won't find the answers out here. Your path leads into the treasury. There is nowhere else to turn. Look out! It's an ambush! Lippy cries. With a whistling of wind, an arrow comes flying at your head. You knock it aside at the last moment and ready your sword. Impressed and not... A little fearful at an enemy that could so thoroughly get the drop on your party.
Uh-oh. The enemy catches you off guard. Nice. All right. Only four, tur four turns. Not too bad of a loser. What the heck? Witch King? And they all look like us. Witch King, Witch King. Why is Freya a Witch King? Wow, they hurt. Ow. Okay. Well, we take more off of Freya right now, so. Or the Witch King C, so we're gonna try and drop her health down. Oh, that was a failure. Alright, let's see if we can reveal. Which can seize HP? Good roll, good roll, good roll, good roll. Yeah, good roll. Alright, how much you got? 436. Jack, terrorizing. Which can be. Ow! Breaking her down though, so it's working out pretty alright for the most part. Alright, do 
accuracy impairment on A with Witch King, please hit. Yes! Make him miss a little bit. Nice. Oh, he, gets, he figured out how to counter me. Enhancing his accuracy, I think. Going over and over. Ow, ow. Why? Stupid hastens on her. Ow. Ha <laughs> Libby. That sucks. And then this one goes. Wow. Okay, Freya. Bring Libby back. Befuddle this ugly imposter. No, no, they're gonna make her go right after you. I can't have her having super powerful magic. Right here. Thank you for letting someone else go. Goodbye. The witch can see you. Okay. Wow, that takes a lot. Alright. Holy strike. Wow! Whew. What? I cannot lose this. And snare too? Oh my gosh! Bring back Lippy. Come on. Let me go! <laughs> Lippy's dead. <laughs> this sucks. We lost. Ow. That is the death of us. Wow, these guys are strong. They take so much. Might have to do some last minute grinding, maybe. I'm gonna give it another shot. Why they let them ambush us? I don't know. Wow, six turns that they get to hit us. And do what they like. As strong as these guys are, they don't need that type of handicap on us.
Part here, guys. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Crimson Shroud.